2010 Toyota 4Runner. Ron is back right here. Ron's gonna do the install, right? All right, Ron, come on, man. You, you can do it. How about you go that side and uh, I video you and you can take that off. All right. First of all, we're gonna have to take this out. We're gonna put the uh, uh, Tesla t uh, tes Tesla screen here. So first of all, we're gonna have to take the old factory OEM radio out, and Ron's gonna take it out. <laughs> uh, he's gonna go easy on that and pull it straight out. Well, Ron is uh, taking that side. I'm taking this side. Just pull it straight up. Upward a little bit and out. Just up maybe a, a, a quarter of an inch and then it should come out. And then now you can pull this piece out. Uh, that should come out. It's a little bit tight, but uh, uh, pull it out like that with your hand or your flat head. Just be careful. Now once you get that out, and you're gonna have uh, uh, four uh, 10 millimeter right there. You're gonna have to come take it out. And one, two, three, and four. It should come out. I don't know if this is more up there or not. I'm gonna check. I'll feel it. Oh yes, it just comes straight out like that. And then, once you got it out, you're gonna unplug everything. The antenna adapter out, and this button right here, all you do is push it down and pull it straight out. They all the same way. Push, and pull it out. That's very tough. Flathead is the best bet if you, uh, can't get it out if you don't have no nails. Push it down like that. <sighs> oh. Alright, so we got that out. We're gonna go to the radio part. In order to hook up a backup camera, you're gonna have to uh, hook up the uh, the red wire on this right there on the 36 pin white where the fuse box is at. You're gonna have to pull this off. Pull that off. You can pull the whole thing by taking 10 millimeter down here out and then just pull it out. But I'm done with that. Oh. All right, uh, what I, uh, this is plug and play, basically, uh, they're going to send you two wire uh, piece that, uh, <clears throat> two plug, I mean, one plug is go to the newer car, not a plug, it's go to an older car, so, uh, sometimes the plug might be wrong because either you have a both uh, JBL system or you have a regular system, this one's got only a regular system, so we're using this plug right here, this four, uh, this, uh, four wire and then this uh, uh, This wire right there those are the power on and then this this plug right there You're gonna have to hook it up plug it to so that way you can program the uh, <coughs> the uh, uh, Steering wheel control and the mode and everything else and then I hook up the backup camera I ran the backup camera and it's plugged to this piece right there it's a RCA jack cable line, uh, cable D in, and uh, yeah, plug that one, and then I ran that, uh, the orange wire right here, that's control the, uh, <coughs> the camera, the backup camera right there, and, uh, this other one, it's got a front camera power, we don't, we don't have that option right, right here on this one, I'm gonna tape that up. I'm gonna plug everything in. I got all this plugged, and I got the USB, uh, USB, uh, the uh, the Bluetooth over here. Ran, and then I ran the uh, 
GPS wire coming down there and two over here. And all the USB, I plug it down to right there. Uh-oh, maybe move that out a little bit more out here when we put everything back in. So all they had to do is plug this in to their phone and then it sync with it. One more important thing about the brake wire. Here's a brake wire right there. You need to hook up to the black wire. That's if you want to watch a video or anything like that. You need to hook that up. Uh, if not, it might it might not let you uh, uh, watch any uh, video or anything like that. Now I got everything hooked up. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna pull this out. Okay, got it pulled out. I am going to just play with the screen. I'm not going to touch the uh, 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 <clears throat> steering wheel control or anything like that. I'm just going to, I mean, I know it works. I programmed it already. <clears throat> so, what do you have to do right here? You're going to have to, uh, well, I mean, the, the music play because I cannot really turn it up. But it, it does play. Uh, you can go home again and click on music. I mean, you can, you have to literally have to uh, link your music to there or you plug in your phone down here to the uh, the thing that said Android or Apple CarPlay right there and plug into your phone and then it should link through that too. Uh, so uh, home again, navigation, it's gonna load up the navigation, but it's in the building, it might not work right, but uh, it probably, it probably will. I'm not sure. Uh, would you like to see country information? Oh, I tell you country information too. You are right here, where I'm at right here. This is exactly where I'm. Oh, click the wrong button. This is where I'm at right here. Not exact point right there because I'm in the building. I'm right there basically. So. Uh, Going back home. I'm going to put a reverse. Reverse is good. Camera is good. Backup camera right there. It's a garage. Put it back. And uh, that's it. I'm going to shoot a couple pictures. And only that. Sorry, it's DJ. Wireless uh, Apple call, uh, uh, call player. You don't have to plug in the USB. Download. All right. Well, uh, actually, uh, this is a uh, wireless. It, it connect from his phone to uh, his uh, iPhone to right there, so you don't have to plug it. That's kind of neat, though. I didn't know that. But uh, yes, it is.